Let's see if we can get this, you know, nice and going. Maybe things will work a little better. Except the uh, camera is not turning on. Not turning on, that's always nice. New camera, you're not turning on. So that's cute. Ugh. This don't want to work today, camera? Nah, eh, camera doesn't want to work. So, hey everybody, this is Sterno Say, welcoming you to the live, uh, impression stuff. With Nintendo's um, digital event, basically their E3 conference in streaming form, got a little over 10 minutes left. <clears throat> so it's going to be very nice to see what Nintendo comes up with. This year, Sony's was good, a little bit on the long side, and it did kill my throat a little bit. But there were so many halfway decent things that it's pretty dang good to be to be even a decent fan of Sony. Microsoft's okay. Sony definitely had a good one, but it was a little long. Now Nintendo's. Nintendo's conference is only scheduled for like an hour, but there's going to be some, you know, some small things here and there throughout the day, because like, here's our press conference, but then we've got more stuff for you if you just keep watching. So we'll see how things actually go, but this is the press conference, this is the revealing and stuff for everything involving Nintendo. <coughs> Apologies. The effects of having a two hour press conference for the live reveal with Sony has definitely hurt my throat a little bit. But if you haven't checked out the Microsoft and the Sony E3 impressions, I, I live interpretation, live first impressions, and all that stuff, I really suggest you don't go. Go do that after this event. After you go done listen, go done listening. You get done listening to this one because I think you guys will like it quite a bit. Especially coming from somebody who has always been a fan of Nintendo for the longest time, until I got a PS2 and I liked some of the titles. I have a PS3, like some of the titles on there, and. We only have a 360 because there are some, because Jake wanted some 360 exclusive racing titles, which is fine. Now he realized he has to expand that 360 collection because Big Sis is growing up and she's not going to always let you have the PS3 forever, but that's just him. <clears throat> going to turn down the volume just a little bit on my computer because the mic is sitting <clears throat> pardon me the mic is sitting right next to the computer and stuff but their countdown says now a little over eight minutes which is pretty nice but this will be an hour long it sounds like jake might be coming down here to join me which is pretty nice if he is because this is probably something both of us have been really waiting for. For a long time. <clears throat> oh, so, oh nice. The Nintendo showing a little thing that it was been 10 years since we have seen Red, since Re Reggie first appeared on stage. And yeah, so we've got about seven minutes left. They're Reminding us about the Smash Bros. Invitational later on today. 
um, at 4 Pacific time, which would be 7 Eastern. In our time zone, it'll be 6. Yeah, if you need a little space. Yeah, since this is Nintendo's time. And we've got live, and we're already on Nintendo's channel, so we'll be able to see live demos from uh, Shigeru Miyamoto. Yeah, I, I have been excited for this. <clears throat> we've been excited for this ever since we found out that there was going to be a Smash Invitational tournament, and then we realized, oh shit, E3 is coming up. But later on today, there's going to be a lot of... Uh... Yeah. Oh, man. I'm surprised I was able to sleep last night. Oh, I was definitely able to sleep. It was just getting up to this morning was a lot more of a problem than what it was yesterday. But what are you looking forward to for this event? And, I mean... Uh... Because I would like to see some light be shot on for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I'm looking for, I'm hoping for that. We should get a lot more info on Smash Bros. Hopefully, or, or basically the rest of information. I would like some a little bit more info for Bayonetta two. Probably a release date, definitely. Hopefully, I, I'll look forward to a release date. Um, I want to see something with an older Nintendo title that hasn't been out in a while, like maybe something on F-Zero. Oh. Maybe something on Star Fox. Yeah. Even though I've never played either of those games, I think there'd be a lot of fans who would be... Very proud? Would Not very proud, but very happy to see one of those two core series return to either the um, 3DS or the Wii U. Something else I am probably wondering is if they will shed any light on Shin Megami Tensei Cross Fire Emblem. All we really have, if this title is still going to be in play... Yeah. Um, <clears throat> anything, anyway. I was trying to say that... Um, would like to see something about um, that game because all we really had was a title. We would like to know if that game is still going to be made for the Wii U. Maybe a little light on it, or maybe some way of saying no. Unfortunately, because the fact that Atlas got bought by Sega, I think. That this is not happening, but I don't know. Sega's done some Nintendo titles, so. But, um, let's see. Anything else I am definitely looking to see? <clears throat> I'm not sure. I am not totally sure what else I would like to see. Ma no, third-party games. That's what I want to see. I want to see if they have some decent third-party titles coming up besides Bayonetta 2. Yeah, that would be nice. Because Bayonetta 2 is, you know, third-party and we know it. Because it's right. going to be developed by Platinum Games. Yeah. But that is just... <clears throat> I would like to see some third-party games. Hopefully, maybe... Hopefully a good amount of stuff coming for the Wii U that we can really get excited about. Hoping, just hoping. But yeah, so tomorrow and Saturday, you can go to Best Buy stores and, you know, get a feel for Smash Bros. Wii U. So, new game announcements, Nintendo's upcoming projects. We should get a decent... No, it's gonna have to turn up the volume just a tad. But right now, only without with two and a half minutes remaining, fifty thousand people are already here, getting ready to watch this. Because yeah, it's Nintendo. It is Nintendo, but it is also during the work during time where people would be working. But um. Well, yeah. You yeah, I do believe that Sony really did put up a good number yesterday. It was just very long. 
But they did, but they did step up their game. They they did give a lot of things, but some of some of the people I talked to after, you know, after the press conference really didn't. But then again, I don't know how much they're really into Sony. But they did say Sony's press conference was a little long, and anything that wasn't involving games shouldn't have been in there, like Microsoft's. Yeah. But at least giving some update on your hardware and stuff very important. It's very important to show that you have some that you are working on hardware support. That's very important. But that's just me kind of saying Sony still did a good job. Oh, Jake's heart is... Apparently Jake's heart is racing and I'm just like, okay. So, we've got a little over a minute left now. Till this event starts. Can you hear the sound? Of what? The uh, stream. There's music playing. Or do I need to turn it up? If you're talking about that clicking sound, then yeah, I can hear it. I need to turn it up just a little bit more. And the only reason I really don't want it to be too loud is because I don't know if Nintendo's gonna try to content ID this shit. Because they've been content IDing uh, Mario Kart 8, strangely enough. 20, 30 seconds. Well, I guess even if Nintendo does content ID this, as long as they don't put a copyright strike on my account, I don't think I should be worried too much. So now 20 seconds. I hope you guys are ready because there will probably be quite a bit of exclamations of just cheering here. Because this is the one we've five, really been eight, waiting for. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Start of the stream. Ooh. Huh? Ooh, they start out with an M rated game. Okay. Okay. Or at least there's going to be something that will probably be up to M rating. Oh. Okay, that's a good intro. Hey, it's Iwata! And... Reggie. Yeah. Pretty good game face there, Reggie. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, nice work. Oh, gosh, this is awesome. Oh. Was that a Luigi missile? It was. I think we're getting into Smash Bros. right off the bat. But this is awesome! <laughs> this is awesome! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Well played, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're getting into Smash Bros. right away. Smash Bros. for Wii U. <laughs> you played your me. <laughs> That's definitely interesting. Uh, I probably won't want to play as my me, but... <laughs> <clears throat> but definitely also looks like you could put weapons on your character, too, because of... 
that's cool. Oh. Either that or you actually get to play as Iwata and um, Reggie. Oh, figurines? Whoa, 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 whoa. So you can customize your me with figurines? Mario. Reggie versus Mario. <laughs> he knows the smash is coming. Oh. oh! As a little assist for somebody who's playing on the game pad, it looks like. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai. Sakurai, how's it going, buddy? Well, of course, there's somebody translating. Hello. Fighter, okay. I thought about oh, cool. appear in Super Smash Brothers Brawl, but in the end decided against it. Somehow at the time it didn't seem right to have Mies punching and kicking. For this game though, we're not simply throwing the Mies into the fray. We've done some serious work getting them ready for a fight. Have a look. They're almost not even Mies anymore. Wonder if it depends on the color. It's not dependent on color, but there looks like to be three styles: a sword style, a box, a fighting, a boxer style, and a um, <clears throat> almost Samus-like style. <laughs> That's a good final match for the. Brawler, sword fighter, and gunner. Yeah. Kind of like Little Mac. Customization. <clears throat> Your class has 12 specials. Each. Yeah, this gets. 36 total specials. ISD pours it on. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. We're fast approaching the sales date of the 3D. Yes, please tell us that. The game is almost complete, but of course there are an astronomical number of variables in a game like this. We have to be sure to put enough people on the debug team and test it correctly. Thank you for your patience. We've put all our focus into getting the fighters, items, assist trophies. Still rating to use Greninja. Many different modes besides the main Smash battles. I won't go over them in detail now, but let me show you a bit of what's in store for you. Let's see. Looks like us. Ooh, looking like something that's involving the scaling that came from Kid Icarus Uprising. Home Hit run contest. Home run contest, of course. All right, home run contest is back. Oh, nice. Customization on the outline. Oh, sweet. Pretty good. Thank you. I can be rid of those outlines. Flower smash. Free for all. Some nice trophies. trophies. Huh. Looks like a bomb thing. Customization routine. Tips. A few other things. Better records, of course. Industry. 
the trophies. What the heck? That's a... Give us a release date! October 3rd. Uh, that's not summer! Hi everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Reggie! This year we wanted to do something different to celebrate what it means to be a Nintendo fan. Today you'll meet many of the talented... It's October is not summer. It's fall. Oh well. Well, at least we now have a release date now. Yeah, but I won't be able to play online until December. While I've changed out of my Fire Flower suit for now, Mario is still close to my heart. You may recognize this as what Mr. Iwata used earlier to defeat my Me Fighter in Super Smash Bros. Mm-hmm. Amiibo. And only Amiibo. on Nintendo systems will you be able to enjoy all the different experiences in this Toys to Life cabinet. Along with Amiibo, both Disney Infinity and Skylanders Trap Team have unique features and functionality that can only be found on Wii. There's a special chip that's embedded in every <coughs> That is true. For example, your own figure with its own unique stats and fighting style will not only appear, but also evolve as a fighter in Super Smash Brothers Onward. In fact, Super Smash Brothers for Wii U will indeed be the first game to support Amiibo. In other words, this holiday we're not only releasing the game you've been waiting for, but also He is right, that is the game we are waiting for. They hyped up on the mean of me of Luigi Death Stare. Great job, Nintendo. So I'm going to ask you to do this. When we're done here, at any time you can catch Nintendo of America's own Bill Trinan, who's hosting a dedicated amiibo video that goes into a little more detail. Okay. So be sure to find him at Nintendo.com or the Nintendo YouTube channel. Alright. So we can check out more about amiibo later. Mm -hmm. Whenever I'm over in Japan and lucky enough to see these new games, I'm reminded of the first video game I fell in love with. Super Mario World on my Super NES. I played it endlessly, finished with 99 lives, and I still have that on good behavior. Nice. Even you remember the first game you fell in love with, too. Pokemon Red and Blue.
that there's never been a better time to play games on Nintendo Switch. At the end of the day, Nintendo game creators share one belief. There's nothing wrong with having a plan. With that, I'm going to step aside to let our developers show you their new game. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right. Hmm. Yarn. I'm Tezuka of Nintendo. How do you do? Takashi Tezuka. And Atsunobu Ibisu. A yarn Yoshi game. Cute. We said we wanted to make a Yoshi game. But we asked them to use the yarn fabric as materials for creating new gameplay mechanics. To create a new kind of Yoshi game filled with those kinds of elements. Yoshi's eggs are yarn balls. Mario and Yoshi games are 2D action platformer games. The big difference is that Mario games are about performing challenging tasks within a given time limit. That is true. Does look very fun. Things like how far you can jump are set at a certain distance. So you would build the terrain with that in mind. But in the case of Yoshi, he's so almighty. If he tries, he can fly as far as he wants. His tongue is the most powerful weapon. Well, it may be weird calling it a weapon. Is it? So as we were thinking about how we should build the game, Tezuka san told that it's centered around exploration. We took it as Yoshi's abilities are there to be utilized for exploration. From there, we were able to progress with the game's development smoothly. By using yarn, there are new ways to explore. There are a lot of transformations in the game because Yoshi himself is made of yarn. So this time, two-player mode. Two Yoshis appear, and that actually plays really well. Two people can play to help each other out. Hope so. So in tough situations, if there are two players, they can both overcome it. Yoshi can beat up and spit out the other Yoshi wherever he likes. This is really important in co-op. That's true. We've made prototypes of different ways to express the yarn fabric for Yoshi. And we felt that the stuffed yarn Yoshi was particularly attractive. Yeah, that actually is pretty interesting. There was quite a phase of trial and error until we decided to go with the current form. Yeah, this time it's about a textured look. And we also wanted to give the world a handmade feel. But we then asked things look handmade. We tried making things of our own, hoping that it would help in reflecting the handmade feel to the game. Yeah. There is certainly a key phrase that I have. It's amazing Yoshi. 
Hmm. Yoshi's Wooly World. 2015 title, okay. That's cute. Mm, first first look. look. Hmm? Trapped in Toad, what? They're getting like a Toad title? So, Toad's gonna have his own game now? Did Captain Toad get that mimic of. Captain Toad got his own game. What? Um. This is something. <laughs> Captain Toad Treasure Track. Well, it's not a Mario game. It's a Toad game. Never thought I would say that. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hey, look, I'm really sorry about kidnapping you 80 plus times, but my bad. Yeah. Yes! Anyway. Of course, <laughs> Zelda! Yay! Yeah, you're gonna get with the Zelda title. Oh, this is gonna probably look visually beautiful. Last year, I said that revisiting the conventions of the Zelda series would be our theme for the new Zelda game for Wii U. However, before I get into that, let me talk about something that I needed to help to realize this ambition. In fact, it's something that we wanted to do for a long time in the Legend of Zelda series. And so, Development began with this as our focus. In the earlier releases of the Legend of Zelda games, players got to explore a wide area, scrolling up, down, left, and right. Yeah. However, after the game transitioned to 3D and the hardware continued to evolve, it became harder to create that feel of being in a vast world. For example, in Wind Waker, we used various techniques to create a wide world where you could freely explore many isolated islands. That is true. But it was very hard to create one large world where everything felt connected. Hmm. We had to design small bounded areas with a defined entrance and exit. And putting them all together made it feel like you were playing in a large world. It was pretty large feel. Visually appealing. This is the new world of Zelda. It's quite a vast world, isn't it? It is, actually. You can even reach those mountains in the distance if you walk far enough. But we couldn't create such a wide world like this in the past. As far as what you can do with such a vast field to explore, as soon as those boundaries are removed, it means you can enter any area from any direction. So the puzzle solving in this game begins the moment the player starts to think about where they want to go, how they will get there, and what they will do when they arrive. This is a clean break from the conventions of past games in the Zelda series, where you had to follow a set path and play through the scenario in the right order. Mm -hmm. I believe this departure will create opportunities for new gameplay that have not been experienced in previous Zelda games. Okay. As you can see, and as you know from the Zelda series, the world in these games can be quite peaceful. However, it is a Zelda game after all, so strong enemies will certainly appear, even in this setting. Powerful enemies appearing in such a peaceful world is one of the defining features of the Zelda series. Oh yeah. 
I'm gonna pull that one. Well, that's a good 2015 title. Wait. That's what I thought I I Why thought we don't suffer. Okay. Gladios. Alright, so what do you got for us? We're making a movie now for Sapphire, alright. Okay. Uh -huh. Game footage not final. But what well, Oh. Roxanne looks nice! Whoa! That looks cool. Dude, look at the gems. Look at the gems. Yeah. There's Steven, who we saw the design of earlier. We got Lucian. Yeah, that's. Look at this one bird! Whoa! Oh my god. November 21st. November 21st. Oh. <laughs> Say that too. Make it a release date finally. Please. Oh. You know this game better than I do, so... I think Jake's a little amazed right now. Is that a Pete? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nintendo designed outfits. Oh my. Oh my god. The entire Bayonetta universe in one package. October. Mm. Well, then that'll be a good Christmas gift. Mm. Well. I'm the general producer of Hyrule Warriors, Koinuma of Koei Tecmo. I'm the development producer of Hyrule Warriors, Hayashi of Koei Tecmo. There are a lot of us in the Hyrule Warriors development team who grew up playing The Legend of Zelda. Hyrule Warriors. So getting the chance to work on this series, we were actually a little nervous. I'm not surprised, it is Zelda. But Anuma-san told us we could do whatever we like a number of times. And it became the action style that it is <coughs> Oh. A big difference between this and 
the Zelda games is that you're fighting an army and there are multiple battles occurring on the field at once. Linda. Well, speaking of Zelda, they had Zelda on the screen, I think. There's also a two-player mode. Oh. You can play two players by using both TV and gamepad. It's not a split-screen experience, so you're able to each be fully immersed on a single screen. We saw Impa, which is nice. There are a lot of playable characters, but you know, since it's the Legend of Zelda, there are Link and Princess Zelda. Whoa. Zelda's, Zelda's armor looks nice. Oh my god. And there's Impa. Seriously, that... Oh that man. Zelda outfit looks... Zelda looks amazing. They revert her back to her blonde hair. If there is a certain character you like that's, in the series... That's nice. This is the first game where you'll be able to play as your favorite character. There are a lot of playable characters in the Dynasty Warrior series. But man, the ideas they come up with for what kind of moves they give the characters are amazing. So now, it's really turning out as a great new Zelda collaboration title that's worthy of the name Hyrule Warriors. Mm. Firing four light arrows? Since yes. Oh, cool. the first of its kind, we were able to make it a great game that's like a celebration of both franchises. I really hope you all look forward to it. As a collaborative title, it has both the essence of Zelda and the essence of Dynasty Warriors, as well as a lot of other essences they have all mixed in to form a brand new experience. It'll be great if both fans get interested in playing the other series. It'll make me really happy if they all have fun playing. Huh, looks like Zelda is September 26, 2014. Anyway, I was like, Zelda's weapon looks like a rapier. First look into what? Next Kirby game! Looks like Canvas Curse 2 or something like that. Yeah, that looks like Canvas Curse. Like a clay canvas curse or something. Oh, right in Whiskey's face. Submarine and rust. Tank. Kirby. Kirby. And Kirby. the Rainbow Curse, alright. 2015. Alright, and we're only halfway through this Nintendo event. Oh, it looks very nice. Someone sound a little too screechy. Uh, 
Uh, Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles. Well, there's that. Anyway. All right. Something that I think I saw yesterday. Mario Maker, create your own custom Mario courses. Oh. Eight bit. Looks like not only for just not just for the original, but for you know, 3D. It's a 3D effect. Looks like it's basically um old school Super Mario Bros. But they have a Super Mario Bros. U maker too. This one was nice. <laughs> okay, that was nice. So I'm going to do with orange slime squid. Yeah. 
but because of the layery nature of splattering the ground with ink, you can tell by glancing at the map what other players are up to and where they're headed. I think that adds a new layer of strategy to a game like this. Spices it up a bit. The other neat use of the gamepad is making use of your allies' icons displayed on the map. Hmm. If you tap one of these icons, you'll blast off from your location and land next to them ready to go. Hmm. Nice. This is just one more mechanic that adds a nice twist to the strategy. This looks like a very good game. Your enemies are shooting ink as well. With regular guns, you can't really see bullets flying by. But since this is ink, you'll be able to see it flying from around a corner, and you'll know, whoa, there's a bad guy. Forge forward and ink a path, your allies will be able to use it to follow you, and you'll be able to get to your enemy's territory quicker. But on the other hand, they can just ink over that and ruin your strategy. Yeah, they can. This way, splattering ink is both an offensive and a defensive tool. There are a lot of different ways to play depending on your style. Some people like to stay hidden in the ink for a long time and wait for the perfect chance to pop out. Other people just blaze ahead, inking a path to try to get as far as they can into enemy territory as fast as they can. There are a lot of different tactics you can employ, but no matter how you play, the ink you're shooting has an effect on everyone else. You'll never feel like you're playing alone or in a vacuum. It's pretty magical, really. Amano-san, you like to try and ambush people, right? Do I? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I play it a bit safer and lay down a lot of ink and make it hard for enemies to advance into my team I like to stay at home and protect the base. Yeah, that's not my style at all. I'm just plain bad. Yeah, no gummy son. You're really not very good. Yeah. This definitely looks like a good game. I wonder when it comes out. It's definitely a colorful one just because in case you're shooting ink all over the place. Nice, I just roll up and all over the place. <laughs> just, you know, this looks extremely fun. I will admit, this looks extremely fun. Well, that just about wraps up things for the Nintendo Digital event. But at the same time, it's just the beginning of your continuous contact with Nintendo at the show this week. First of all, right after we sign off, we invite you to stay tuned on Nintendo's Twitch channel for our post-show recap, Nintendo Minute Live at E3. Okay. There's even more game news we didn't have time to squeeze into this video. If you're in the LA area, we invite you to come on down to the Super Smash Bros. Well, we'll get to see it on Twitch.
follow us on Facebook and Twitter and join the Beverse YouTube channel. We've covered a lot of ground today, so I want to thank you for watching. But I just can't leave you without one more little teaser. Enjoy E3 and play E3. All right, what do we got? One more Smash Bro reveal, I think. Hmm? Palatina. That is Palatina. Nice scale boomerang. Palatina's coming to Smash? Palatina is cut. As a fighter! Palatina's in Smash Brothers now. I bet a lot of Kid Icarus fans are going to be happy with this. Yeah. And it's also good that we're getting another female fighter. She's got a counter. Oh, great. Black hole into mega laser. Nice. Breedy. That's Well, thank you, Miyamoto. So... So, alright. That was the Nintendo event. So that was their uh, announcements and all that stuff. Hmm. What do you think? Well... Some of the stuff kind of went, okay, nice. Wasn't exactly floored with some of the stuff like I was with Sony. But... Everything left me pretty satisfied. Well, I was expecting something for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, but I, I probably wasn't expecting too much. They really didn't show anything besides Roxanne's design and some gym designs. But yeah. I expect to see maybe a little bit more from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire um, somewhere else. I'm just going to say... It was great and all, but I felt like it was kind of lagging. I mean... 
I mean, it's great that 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 Umbenda Two ha- has its own release date. October, October, November is going to be filled with a lot of buying. But, yeah, we'll just have to wait. I'll just have to wait till later on to see more for Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. But it's it's good to see how their Mega Evolutions are done. Um, it is nice for the fact that now we have a release date for Smash Bros. for uh, 3DS. It's just in October. October, like you said, Which October. is not summer at all. Yeah. It's mid fall. They probably realized that they probably weren't, they probably wouldn't be able to be finished by by summer. Yeah. Which means because of the fact that I'm going to be in college at and college internet is you know dumb sometimes. I won't be able to play online uh, 3ds. Yeah. Stuff unless I come back here, well, which I may on occasion on Saturdays. Well, the thing of it is, for me, the only other thing that I'm there's like two things of Smash Bros. Four that I'm looking forward to, which I hope they do. In terms of Final Smashes, I would like to see Giga Bowser. I would like to see him. You probably will. And hopefully, Jigglypuff finally gets scrapped. I haven't seen that thing. Well, we won't know. There's still time for actually a few more Smash Bros. announcements because it's going to be in October. What I'm saying is, I really hope I'm not seeing. We're not going to see Jigglypuff. I really don't want to see Jigglypuff again. Mm. But I would. I would love to see how Giga Bowser would look. Hold in. on. Well, we'll see. But they're mentioning something. Oh, they're mentioning the uh, the amoeba things. Yeah. Uh, kind of reminiscent of the trophies we saw in uh, Melee. But yeah, I think overall this was pretty nice. Didn't exactly floor me in the sense that I got with Sony. But it was still very decent. I still say it was better than Microsoft. Definitely. Definitely better than Microsoft, but not quite to Sony's standards. So, pretty much in terms of your... I'm saying Sony kind of won E3, but that is my opinion. Hmm. But this was still great to get some new uh, titles and stuff. There are some good titles coming out in the fall and winter. So, I am looking forward to it. But Sony's conference definitely made me go, I really, really wished I had a Wii, I mean, not a Wii, a PS4. Hmm. Anyway, this has been Starry Nova Saiyan. And Sportman 16. With, with all this stuff, we'll see you guys next time.